If you've been following the case of missing Cannon Stauk, on Monday night you may have watched the Denver News. If you did, you saw the girl who babysat Cannon. Her name is Stephanie. Uh, she did an interview with the news that was supposed to show Tisha in a new light. The interview was pretty mm, shallow. She didn't really say much, but we'll go ahead and take a look at it anyhow. It's all mind-blowing. Stephanie Kane just moved to Oklahoma mid-January, but last had contact with Letitia Stauk, Gannon's stepmother, shortly after his disappearance. For a year, she would babysit overnight for the Stauk family whenever they went away and became friends with who she calls Tisha. I think she's innocent. She's not the type of person that will do something like this. What is she like? I mean, like, she wouldn't, she never even spanked those kids. She wasn't the one to get on to them. She always let Albert do that. Kane is trying to help clear her friend's name after this interview touched off serious backlash online. She didn't sound like she was hiding anything, you know, like, that's just the way she is. People from across the country following the case, some criticizing her social media posts. I would be losing my mind too. I think she's overwhelmed. Kane says Letitia may not have her phone and she thinks she deactivated her Facebook last night. You just think that there's no way that she would have done anything to him? I, I'm not saying, like, I don't know, you know, like, I don't know, but I'm saying that I don't think, my personal opinion, I don't think so. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't think she'd do something like that. I mean, like, because she is a friend. Can, can, can't tell us what she said to investigators, but says she's had several calls. With Where it gets interesting, though, is what happened afterwards. This is what someone posted to the Denver News page. She shared her opinion on the interview and a screenshot of some messages between the babysitter and a friend. The post starts with the person saying, what a reliable interview you have. She tells you one thing for her five minutes of fame, but tells everyone else another. The text between the babysitter and her friend, we'll call her Heather, read as follows. Heather texts, this is all sad. I really think Letitia did something to him. Stephanie responds, I do also. Heather replies, I just don't understand why. When you hung out with her and stuff, did she ever act weird or anything? Stephanie responds, maybe an accident. She was trying to hide it. No, she didn't at all. Heather says, I have a bad feeling they're going to find a body soon. Stephanie replies, yes, me also, just not at home. Heather goes on to say, I wonder where he is. She obviously took him somewhere that morning. She was gone for four hours before she returned home without him. I also wanted to mention another post that Stephanie made. Uh, someone was able to dig this up, and I'll just go ahead and read it. I am Tisha's friend. I want to believe her so much that a woman like herself wouldn't be capable of doing something so horrible. I still don't want to believe it, but all the evidence, it really looks like she is hiding something. And it hurts so much writing this, but she did lie. She did put him in her husband's truck and drove away and returning hours without him. If she was innocent, wouldn't she have told the police about that? Or if it wasn't her, then who did she let drive her husband's truck? I'm still praying and I hope she's innocent. I just can't believe a friend of mine would do something to hurt anyone. Okay, so in regards to that post, I just want to point out, you know, that it looks like this friend has no inside information, so to speak. Uh, she's going by the same, you know, grainy footage, uh, security cam footage that we are. Uh, I think she's really grasping at straws. She's probably on the fence, leaning both ways, and kind of just got caught. Another thing that has been posted to social media is a post from this friend of Stephanie's who she was texting with, and she seems pretty confused how these screenshots got leaked to begin with. She says, Stephanie doesn't know anything. This is my conversation with her, and I don't even understand how people got screenshots of this. Stephanie is just as confused as we all are. So... This whole social media circus around the case is an absolute shit show. It's just such a mess. It's exhausting and it gets no one any closer to finding Gannon. Like I mentioned before, I think it's possible that this girl who was interviewed is kind of 
playing both sides of the fence and got caught in it. I think it's also possible that she could maybe have changed her mind. Uh, she could have also been talked into giving the interview or like someone else mentioned, looking for her 15 minutes of fame. Uh, whatever the case is, it's all very sad and it's just such a huge distraction. Uh, take this all with a grain of salt, guys. I'd love to know what you think. Feel free to let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you so much for listening and hope you enjoyed watching.